Hello and welcome to What's In This Week's Open Times with me, Alice Butcher. And me, Cathy Griffiths. And here we are again. The podcasts roll round, don't they, Cathy? They certainly do. We, But we're always busy at the open times, so the weeks just fly by. We're, we're nearly very, halfway through the year, you know. We're very busy. Fiona Scott hasn't left us. She will be returning in the next week or so, but she's just, just returned from a holiday herself. It's that time of year, isn't it? Of course, people are having their holidays. It's a bumper and I mean bumper edition of the Open Times this week. There is so much news. We only ever give you a glimpse. Cathy, tell us what you've been up to. Well, one of the stories I've been looking at is the uh, mobile breast screening unit has been in town. It's been outside Oban Hospital um, since April. However, it has been hampered. There's been technical problems with the generator and then with the actual um, uh, mammography equipment itself. And that has resulted in about 200 cancellations. Um, so women have had to, um, you know, been, well, women can expect to get, anyone who's been affected by uh, those faults can expect expect to get either a phone call or a letter inviting them to go back for an appointment. The unit's going to stay on for an extra two days and it's going to do a late night session as well. So hopefully they'll get through all of those women so you don't uh, miss your appointments. Um, also, um, COVID. COVID is on the rise in our Garland Butte and Oban has been flagged up as one of the areas that they, you know, that there are concerns about. Uh, the high school's confirmed one case. There's a lot of children, um, close contacts of that people who are self-isolating and we've heard you know there are other cases in in town as well so um keeping out that you know what you need to do wash your hands wear your masks keep your social distance uh, moving on, we also have uh, an appeal from Marie Curie, who are looking for helpers in Oban because their longtime fundraising group le- leader, Lillian Commode, is stepping back from the role. Um, she's still going to be involved, but she's led the fundraising group for 13 years uh, with a team of dedicated supporters, and she's helped raise over £60,000. So if you think you can help fill the gap and help them out, read the story and get in touch. Alice, back over to you. That's three big health stories there, isn't it? Three major health stories, uh, breast, breast screening and COVID and getting a replacement for Marie Curie. Let's hope someone out there can um, can come forward. Absolutely. Well, did you, did you by any chance, Cathy, happen to be in Auburn on Tuesday for the arrival of the MV Pentalina? I wasn't. No, but I've seen photos. It's a pretty impressive thing. This is the Pentland Ferries' c- catamaran called the MV Pentalina. It's 70 metres long, and uh, it was built 12 years ago. And what it's been doing, it's been doing some uh, birthing trials at different ports along the West Coast. And the kind of hope is that it might be brought into service as a bit of a backup uh, for when the Calmac ferries, uh, you know, are playing up or the weather's not right. Um, now, I know that there's a lot of affection, and quite rightly, for uh, some of the Calmac ferries. You know, that they, they are they are quite spectacular, and we associate them with this area, but we've got to be practical as well about um, the island communities being properly served. You know, you, you need to be able to get on and off uh, at all times of the year. So it'll be interesting to follow that. So I'll be keeping an eye on that one about the MV Pentalina. So you can check that out in the Open Times this week as well. And kind of to end... We're going to end with a bit of music, not literally a bit of music, but this is uh, this is a bit of a hark back. Do you remember the story of Aidan McLeod, Cathy? Absolutely, of course I do. Aidan the busker. Super busker. Aidan's the young lad, 19 years old, from Auburn. He stepped in at the last minute. He was busking down on the seafront and a uh, little runaway toddler uh, was just about to, to climb onto the dockside and fall into the water and he swooped in. Um, we're doing a follow-up this week in the Open Times, and it's Aidan and his mum giving a big thanks to the community for everything that they've done. Apparently, I don't think he's ever been more popular in terms of his music. <laughs> and uh, there has been an online fundraising appeal as well, which has raised nearly the best part of 500 quid for him. Wow. Uh, so he's looking at getting a new laptop and looking at working on his own songs. So that's a lovely way to end uh, what's in this week's uh, open times. It's one of those must buys this week, I would advise. There's a lot of good stuff in it, as always, of course. So here at the Open Times, we're always happy to hear from you. So stay in touch, tell us your stories and keep sharing those photos. You can contact us by calling 01631 568 
triple zero or emailing editor at opentimes.co.uk or messages on Facebook. You can read or pick up a copy of the OT from supermarkets, news agents and petrol stations, all the usual places. Or you can get the page-turning digital edition of the Open Times by going online and subscribing. So once again, that's it from me, Ellis Butcher. And goodbye from me, Cathy Griffiths. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.